In today's gaming news, EverQuest Next Landmark gets an update with bigger plots and new biomes, Dark Souls 2 PC release date is confirmed, and Star Wars The Old Republic is getting player housing. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Force with your day's gaming news. First up today, EverQuest Next Landmark just got updated with some brand new biomes, additions and improvements to their tools, and expanded territory for your claims. Specifically, we got two new biomes in the Tundra and Old Growth Forest, as well as 12 new islands for you to start a new claim. A new smoothing tool allowing you to create more natural shapes and curves. There's also the ability to add attached claims, which will essentially let you expand upon Upon your existing claim allowing you to make a larger a larger area larger buildings whatever you feel like doing within your confined space uh, that is now expanded upon so all of these updates great fantastic I'm happy that there's new biomes a change of scenery I'm happy that they're working on improving the tools I'm also happy to hear that they've expanded the claim size because that was one of the bigger complaints from people who were in the alpha of this game the fact that the space with which you had to work was so very small so Again, all great updates. Now, is this gonna be enough for me to go back to the game? It's hard to say. I really think the big deciding factor when it comes to my opinion on this title will be once they add the enemy AI and combat. I think that's when I'm most likely to dive back in and sort of give uh, my general impressions. You know, I, I like the building stuff in Landmark. I love the engine. I love the way the game looks. I love the way characters move. It just building uh, after a while just didn't keep me inspired. So once the, it's more robust and they do add the combat specifically, that's that one thing I'm really looking for. That is probably when I'll go back. But if all of this is enough to get you back into it, um, I'm happy to keep you guys updated as to what recently went through. Next up in news, Dark Souls 2 for the PC will be coming a little bit later than the console release. The PC release date was just announced to be April 25th, 2014. Uh, it will be required that you have Steam. Hopefully they don't require games for Windows Live because Good lord, I've had so much difficulty with that thing. Uh, now, with the PC version of the game, we'll be getting uh, improvements to the visuals, uh, improvements to the frame rate, all that stuff that you expect. Uh, they also revealed that they're supposed to be good mouse and keyboard control, but honestly, I'll believe it when I see it. It's also interesting to note with a late April release date for the PC that that's almost, it's about a month and a half to two months after the console release which is very very unfortunate that is a long time to wait and after really enjoying dark souls uh, last year and sporadically playing it um since i had my big splurge last summer i was really really looking forward to dark souls 2 and i i still certainly am but what i'm going to miss out on unfortunately because i'm looking to get the pc version as opposed to the console version when you have this later release i'm going to miss out on the discovery and by the time that i play this game most of the community will already know what's going on with Dark Souls 2. And so, you know, it's just going to be me playing and people yelling at me because I don't know what's going on because they've been playing it for a month and a half. Not that I, I mind that aspect. It's the discovery, the, the, the communal discovery, the zeitgeist behind the launch of a game this separation between the console and the PC uh, release unfortunately means that I am going to miss out on that and that makes me sad because I definitely wanted to be there on that cutting edge and finding out these new things and figuring out all these secrets and uh, you know anguishing over the boss fights with the rest of the community but again by the time I get around to it everything will already be discovered and that sort of takes away a little bit of the magic. And this isn't something that's exclusive to Dark Souls 2. I mean, anytime you've got a console and PC release where those those launch dates don't match up, unfortunately, one, one portion of the player base misses out on that. And because I was so excited for Dark Souls 2, that's why I'm sad that it's working out the way that it is. But anyways, yes, we do have the PC release date. Uh, it looks like it'll be coming out quite a bit later than a console release, uh, unfortunately for myself and anyone else who plans to play on the PC. And speaking of things that might be too late, Star Wars The Old Republic looks to be adding player housing. It was revealed yesterday during a live stream. Uh, Bioware revealed player housing for Star Wars The Old Republic and displaying a trailer that showed a glimpse of what this housing space may look like you know there was some chairs there was a, a c3po dude there was a mailbox just uh, general amenities is what you would expect in something like this and it's neat it seems like there's a lot of people really excited for it but i want to sort of not be a debbie downer but keep those expectations where they need to be player housing 
when I first heard of this idea in video games and MMOs specifically, what I envisioned and what many people envisioned and what we've got a glimpse of in some games in the past is this giant community where everyone has their specific house. But what it turns out to be nowadays are just instanced housing and, and everyone in the game goes to this one specific area in this one specific town and that's the player house for all million people who happen to be playing whatever MMO it is. And that's probably what you should expect with the Star Wars Ill Republic player housing. We don't expect everyone to have their each individual compartment and you can, you know, run from door to door knocking on everyone's doors and be like, hey, hey you're my neighbors. No, everyone's going to have the exact same house. You're going to see a thousand people streaming into what you think is your house, but it turns out it's actually just an instance version of their house as well. And again, that's not to be a Debbie Downer, and maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's wrong. Maybe everyone actually does have their own specific house, but I doubt it. So the real question then comes, what can you do within this space? Is it going to be customizable? Will you be able to choose the type of furnishing and stuff and, and what type of amenities that you have in the space? Again, I don't really expect that you'd be able to, but maybe you can, and that'd be cool if they did that at the very least. Since I don't expect everyone will be getting their own apartment, everyone will be getting their own building, that's not likely to happen. Uh, how much freedom are they going to have in that space? I think that's where it's going to be most interesting for people who are still playing Star Wars The Old Republic. And I know some people are shocked that I'm even bringing up that name. But since the game went free to play, it seems to be uh, doing fairly well and it has a pretty steady player base. And that's great for them because honestly, as I've talked about in the past, I really enjoyed that game. I didn't play it forever, but I enjoyed what I did play of it. And uh, overall, I thought it was fairly quality. So that's going to do it, guys, for today's episode of the show. As always, please be sure to comment in the comment section below about any of your thoughts on the topics discussed here today. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force-fed. What we really need is a game where you can construct your very own house using materials and build whatever you want on your own plot, and then have it be a, just a big MMO with tons of people. So something like EverQuest Next Landmark, but that's also a big MMO. Oh. EverQuest Next is going to do that. Well, damn.